Can free park. Parker. Free Parker. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Yeah, I'm 27. Yeah, do you think do you think you're gonna vote for Trump in 2024? Oh yeah, definitely. I love that guy. He's great. Appreciate the night helmet. Thank you so much. Why so? Well, I think that you know we need to make America great again, and when you know faced with the evil of the Demo Democratic Party, we have to vote for Trump. Oh, when was it great? And how are you going to oh, do that again? Yeah, it's been great many times, but the way we make it great again, you know, is by securing the border, ensuring that the economic status Wait, of the United States is when specifically was in, it great? Upward... Oh, when wasn't it great? That's the, the greater question. I'd say it's not great now. It was great for four years. When wasn't it great? I don't know. When when there was mass genocide of indigenous people, when there was yeah. internment camps, when there was slavery, <laughs> when there was Jim Crow laws, when there was racial segregation. I, I don't know. It's pretty fucking so I say great. That's what you go to. That's what your idea of great is. That's very sad. No, wait, wait. No, that's not my idea of great. I would do, do you understand what I was critiquing there? See, dude? My idea of great is like Angel Island, Ellis Island, you know, the, the great American dream, the things that we've done across wait, so the country and the world so then why are make you it better. Supporting Trump, who's, who's trying to get the biggest uh, deportation campaign in, in U.S. history. Yeah, see, immigration is different from illegal immigration. We know these are asylum seekers that are coming through the legal process. Uh, asylum seekers from, you know, criminal prosecution and stuff like that. I'm not sure that's asylum. I, I would disagree with what their, criminal their prosecution? Claim. Right. He increased the denial rate significantly and limited people from being able to come through the exact process that exists internationally by law. Right. And in the U.S. prior to him being here. There is no international law when it comes to the United States. We have one law, and that's what? our law. Dude, complete lies, dude. If you, if you don't, no, we don't, don't recognize law. any law except for the United States, that's that's yeah, And fact. that's ridiculous, man. Right? You have to you have to engage in international affairs, okay? You don't just get to fuck over and do whatever the fuck you want just because you're the U.S., okay? Appreciate the confetti. Thank you so we much. actually do. That's the best part. Okay, so you think it's okay for the U.S. to carpet bomb everywhere in the world right now? I think if the world wants war, then the U.S. will bring them war. No, do you think it would be okay for the U.S. to say nuke a few countries for fun? Uh, I think that if the U.S. has nuked a few countries, which we have, then we are the only ones that would ever do it. That's not an answer to my question. Would it be justified uh, I think if somebody for, wants for the U.S. to just nuke a few countries and find for out, fun? Then yes, we would nuke them. James, James, would it be justified for the U.S. to drop a few nukes for fun? No provocation. No, no, for fun makes no sense. We don't operate that way. Oh, I'm asking you, would it be okay for them to do that? You said they're not held by any law, no international standards. I'm asking you, would this be okay? It's our law that stops the use of nuclear weapons for fun. Huh? It's our international, I mean, it's our domestic structure that keeps nuclear weapons, our nuclear weapons in check. You can't you just push the sure button and you You're like answering it. the question, though. Now, I've, I've answered the question plenty of times. Would it be justified? No, it would we not be okay to just launch a nuke for fun? I mean, there's no process to do okay, that. So it there's still happen. a standard that you hold America to, right? The American so it's standard, not just our the standard, our laws. You can say whatever you want. It's not just our laws, right? It, when slavery was legal, would you hold uh, the U.S. to a standard in which slavery was wrong? Yeah, slavery is wrong, yes. It was our laws that made it wrong and outlawed it. It wasn't Wait, international no, but, law but that prior, we had to prior act to, that way. Prior to it being illegal, like when it was legal, was it okay? I'm not sure. Say for me, I would say no, but a minute ago you did say it was great, so I'm not sure what you think. No, dude, you're not dude, James. Come on. Are you this dense? I was showing uh, I mean, the I said, I I irony in your statement. Again, and that was the example you were you saying that up. it was I'm great. Why great and I was pointing to that for you. James, you were saying it's great and I was pointing to all the points in history in which were not great. That was the very fucking point, James. Are you that are you that well, dense? I don't know. I said make America great again. James, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you so much, James. I appreciate it. W W James for the five dollars. Thank you so much, James. <laughs> Were you saying? I'm not James? sure what you mean. I didn't give you any five dollars. Well, uh, James did. Oh, a James did. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm yeah. New to w that James, stuff, not this James. W it. that James. No, there's. I'm definitely winning here. Even if you have a thousand little, you know, sheep to follow you around, that's all good. You're winning in what? And everything. That is. Yes, a hundred percent. What are you winning in? Well, all of it. This, this is like Trump I mean, winning like the said, election. He's like, I, he's like, I want it. I want it, dude. I promise you, I want it. I want it, dude. I want it. What makes you think you want it, Trump? What makes you think I want it? I just did. I just did. It was great. You know what I mean? Like, dude, what are you talking about, bro? Give me an actual reason. Well, I've already given the examples. You just, you know, are crying now, which is very sad. Yeah, what was I'm, the I'm sorry reason? To what, what was the example? We could continue to have the conversation, but what's it's like, hey, if you want to do that, what's the example, James? 
<laughs> well, why? What's the example of what? Why will I vote for Donald Trump in 2024? We can go back to that. Sure. Appreciate the sweet memories. Thank you so much. Yeah, because well, there's people like you who wish for the demise of our country, who cheer death to America, and I disagree with that fundamentally. I'm not arguing death to America. I'm arguing death to the way that we currently it, it do things. It is your side. I'm arguing for argue progression, right? I'm arguing death, for us death. to. To, the to death be better. of our country is not progression. Bear, I appreciate the ten dollars. Thank you so much. It's good to see you, Bear. Uh, Bear Iper. Um, but I was gonna say this. I appreciate the appreciate the gem gun. Thank you so much. I was I was gonna say this, right? Like, do you want to progress as a person? Sure. Uh, I want our nation to progress and go appreciate forward. The subscription. Thank you so much. Wait. Do you, okay. So you want us to progress and go forward? Okay. That doesn't mean you hate the. That doesn't mean you hate right everything in the country. It means you hate particular actions the country engages in or or perpetuates. Right. I hate the U.S. Right, defending a country that's committing genocide. Right, I hate the U.S. Right, blocking right places from being able to get food. Right, which leads to eighty-five thousand Yemeni children starving because they're blocking, a, they're backing a Saudi-backed blockade. Okay, okay. So like, there are plenty of things I can point to that the U.S. is doing even today. This was Trump's administration with the with the Saudi Arabia, by the way. And I can point to, I can say, this is terrible. This is gross. This is disgusting. We shouldn't do this. We need to progress. Death to those things, death to what that represents, because what people see from around the world in these countries, when they see America, they don't see right what you see, James. They don't see the land of opportunity, the land of the free. They see a country that is stripping of them of their rights, right, their opportunities, right, and their livelihood, okay, because they're supporting countries in which are getting rid of that for them. Do you understand that? And I actually do not care what they see or what they yeah, everyone, I'll, or anything I'll ask, like that. I'll ask. You don't care about what they experience? absolutely not why not i care about what americans experience because this is the country i am loyal to and, and wait hold so an wait to. so you don't care about genocides I, I like, do, I wait do you care about the holocaust james i i i what i believe in is the sovereignty james, of each nation do you care about the holocaust the future i don't believe that we should be involved inside these conflicts do you care about the people's about? experiences that went through the future. holocaust that's not for us do you care about the people's experiences that went so through I'm the holocaust i'm offended by your question what do you think i'm going to say no I'm a Jewish man. That Obviously, you're going to say yes, but you want to know something crazy? Jewish people, right, in those particular countries were not from America. So you do care about people well, from other countries. Well, here's the best part. I am from America. So why would I care about them? I care about America. Wait, so why, why, do you, why do you care about the people in the Holocaust? How am I supposed to care about any— I, I, Kurt, the thank you for the $20. What? Thank you so much, Kurt. I appreciate it. Thank you. years before I was born. You still—wait, you don't care about the Holocaust? care about something that happened in the past that's like asking me if i care about you know the the romans invading persia no i don't yes you care about the the, the innocent women children and men that died right do i care about the inquistadors when they invaded you know central america again yes, no i would, don't right it's, it's, it's if, that was, if that's brought ago, up you years should ago, care about that ago. james it means absolutely nothing to me yeah that's I care about ridiculous the future, not the past the future is what we should look for you to say that doesn't, look at the past all for day. you to say that doesn't matter to you at all shows exactly how much empathy you truly reflect onto humans okay if you don't no, care no, about no. the it humans of the past my vision why do you care forward, about the humans your now? vision is backwards and that's okay for you if you want to go backwards how go is backwards my vision backwards by acknowledging bad actions of the past because those bad actions of the past already happened it's not going to change because anything. they already the happened do doesn't mean i shouldn't acknowledge them forward so you don't so so 9 11 you don't care about it it was in the past. I mean, I'm not going to try to invade Iraq. You don't see me you wait, know, wait, promoting James, to Afghanistan. Wait, right I'm not now. arguing that, but do you care about it? Uh, again, this was the past. Why would I really care about it right now? What does it have to do with this moment? <laughs> you don't care about 9-11? You, you know, you guys ask these trick questions where you're like, you don't care about this and that and this, and you think that it's a I'm gotcha running back moment, to your own values because really you, you're like, you're like a pro-America, pro-patriot, but I don't care about 9-11. Yeah, well, do, this you care about, do you care about the American soldiers that died in World I get War II? It, but you're doing your best. Hey, James, James, do you care about the American? James, 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 do you care about the do you care about the 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 American soldiers that died in World War II? I care about the American soldiers right now that are fighting, are trying to fight, and engaging up to fight in Ukraine and Russia against you know the Chinese and the uh, the South Chinese Sea. Those are the ones I care about. No right way you're now. fucking running for Congress, bro. Are you kidding me? I'm 100% running for Congress. Please save me the fucking joke, dude. Uh, is it a joke? I mean, you, you, Un have, you have been granted dude. an opportunity right now to speak to a, a future congressman. Yeah, yeah and you're a waiting. future congressman and that is really on sad. my live saying he doesn't care about the Holocaust. He doesn't care about American slavery. He doesn't care about genocides that have happened yeah. throughout history. He doesn't care about 9-11. He doesn't care about any um, um, human atrocity throughout yes, the oh, context no, of history. I don't care, all just I don't in the care about any of it. Hey, James, James, none of it. You, James, none. James, do you care about the fact that people I have care been about raped? Today. 
Hey, James, I care about do, James, tomorrow. Hey, James, I care about the do you have a daughter? James, do you have a daughter? I care about everything that's happening James, later James, on. James, do you have a daughter? If you want to argue about the past, we hey, can go James. back a thousand years. Hey, James, do you have a daughter? I don't care about a thousand years ago. Hey, James. I care about tomorrow hey, James. and next week. Hey, James, do you have a daughter? I have a daughter and four kids. Oh, okay, so if, if one of them... I have them, a question for you. Do you have a Wait, 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 wait. If what, one do you have of a them, job? Is this your job? Wait, yes. If one of them right, was a sexually assaulted, right? Would, and that was in the past. Would you care about it, James? If they were sexually assaulted in the past, would you care about it? You don't care about sexual assault victims? Is that what you just said? I do. I do. I'm asking you if you would care because it's in the past. <laughs> My daughter, it would be in the future. It would not be the past. It no, no, no. I'm arguing. I'm arguing in this circumstance. Let's say it did happen in the past. Would you care about it? Uh, well, I have a question for you. If it happened in the future, would you he care about it? can't answer the question. Are you serious? Well, if it happened in the future, would you care about it? Yes. Exactly. Yes. I'd care about it if it was in the past or if it was in the future. Okay. So, James, James, you're saying that no, if you're your asking child. The dumbest wait, James, I've James, you're saying. Wait, James, I have two questions. Missing to ask the you. opportunity that I am giving you, and it's very, very sad. No, it's very sad that you can't answer my questions, James. Very, very, right? very sad. James, I'm, James, I'm, I want I'm you to hold up. Can you stop? Can you stop for a second? Because I really want to ask you these questions. There's two questions I want to ask you. Okay? It sounds like and you want to scream to your audience. Hey, James, 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 James. It'd be excellent if we could talk. I want to talk to you, but you're not letting me. Right, you're you're consistently. If you want to scream engaging. for your audience, you're right. I will interrupt. I'm not screaming to my audience, Kurt. Thank you for the twenty dollars. The and the twenty dollars. I mean, thank getting, you for the forty dollars, Kurt. Like thank you, you so much for the forty dollars. Do you understand what you're saying is crazy? Just like think about it this way. All right. Listen, no, what listen I'm saying is logical. I'm going to show you the. But I'm not going to worry no, about no, no, yesterday no. all day. James, stop interrupting me. Okay. All right. I Yeah, tahu. Got sexually assaulted in the past. Would you care about it? Uh, if your kid was shot in the face, would you care about it? Yes. You're asking a nonsense fucking question. Of course I would care about it. Okay, James. But you're asking the reason... a political sense here. Do I care about the slavery? Hey, James. The reason why I just asked you that These is things... because it demonstrates that you care about things that happened in the past. You just argued you don't care about these things because they happened in the past. You only care about the future, right? But I just gave you a circumstance where you cared about the past. And you're so insufferable. You're such a little kid. You're so childish that instead of acknowledging the fact that you just conceded, and then you're going right, to you're gonna sit here and you're going to consistently again. try to cut and me again, off when I'm bad. giving you a point. The reason why I'm muting so you, you is because you're consistently you're cutting me, me off. It's going to work. It's not. You didn't listen to a single thing that I said. James, name one thing that I just said. No, I didn't listen to your gotcha point. Exactly, you because, you're because you're not... Making, because you're, so, so, James, you, you question why I'm muting you, you? You question why I'm muting you? Because you didn't listen to a single fucking thing I just said, and you're constantly trying to cut me off. James, I can literally kick you from my live. I don't need to continue this conversation. No one will ever hear from you ever again, okay, James. Bye -bye. I'm genuinely serious. No one will. Right? I need you to literally sit here and acknowledge what that you just conceded, okay? I'm trying to genuinely engage in a conversation with you, James, and you're being so childish and so insufferable. Uh, no, what you're trying to do is mute me and then make a little show for your audience, what you're doing right now. And like what I've said so I'm many times, I'm not making times, a show right I now. I look to tomorrow. I look to next week, to next year, to the next 10 years. Do I give a shit about what happened yesterday, 10 years ago, 100 years ago? Yes, yes, Absolutely you do. Yes, not. you do. I just proved not you did. Not at all. James, I just not proved you did. Not even at all. I just not proved... even a little bit. James, I literally just proved you did, okay? I just proved you did, You're right? This scenario, I just proved you did because you cared about your kid. I can give you another scenario, right? Do you care about what happened under Obama's administration? Are we going to talk about Donald Trump in the future here? Or are we just going to argue about the freaking past all day? Because, God, dude. it's like, are we historians? Are we, get, are we going to write a book together right now? James, are you real, dude? Are you you're actually running for Congress and you're like, oh, we can't worry about uh, the past. I'm, yeah, I'm running for Congress, not historian. I'm not gonna write books about what happened hundred years ago and three thousand. So, so, so years James, ago. so James. I'm gonna there, write legislation. There's gonna be tomorrow. a bill in Congress and you're gonna be like you're gonna be like, Oh, that bill was written in the past. I can't vote on it. It was written in the past. Why would I care about it? No, what I'll be voting on is stuff. You that care we'll be about doing the Constitution, today, James. Tomorrow, next week. Wait, James, next you care year. about the Constitution. I care about the ever living constitution that we you have do, right? amendments to every single wait, day. Wait, do, do you care about the Declaration of Independence? Yes, I care about the Declaration of Independence. Wait, but that was that what happened in the past. No, that is a modern thing that exists today. That is a document that is legally still existing at this moment. Okay, if it if is if the as document much as me and you was present. Appreciate the box of thank you so much. If the document was burned. Now ask me about the Magna Carta. No, James, I do not. James. It means absolutely nothing. James, if the document was burned, okay? Would you still care about it? 
the document is still part of the modern I mean, it's not even the modern code, but when you talk about the U.S. Constitution and things like that, that is part of legal code. That is present day uh, legislation. It is and not the you, past. And did you know the Declaration? Now, you of, ask me about, wait, like, wait, wait, James. Uh, did you know the Declaration of Independence is not legally binding anymore? It never was. It was never a legal binding thing. It was wait, just so, it was wait, a declaration. So, the, so, so then, so then, you can't say it's it's literally in effect. I mean, it never had effect in the first place. Wait. So, uh, oh, so, so then, why do you care about it? I, again, I only care about the future of tomorrow. I mean, you think you're asking a gotcha So you don't question, care about the doc Declaration of Independence? No, I care about tomorrow. Again, I care about the legislation of tomorrow and the future of this country. And you can argue all day about the past and go on and on about it and argue about rainbows and Romans and, and Byzantines all day. But it means nothing. Yeah, your mic died. I'm sorry. I'll mute up. It's my fault. Okay, I hear you now. Oh, oh, this is so loud. Oh my. Okay, we're good. Are you there, James? Yeah, still here. It was just letting you get your mic plugged back in. Sorry, you're good. Go for it. What were you saying? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Your mic cut off, so I, I stopped. You were like saying you don't care about things in the past, right? No, I mean, I get what you're trying to do. And, you know, I'm sure your audience loves it and they think it's fun. And it's like, ha, 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 you're making them look good. But let's talk reality here. The reality is that this is a real place we live in. It's called reality. And there's real things we have to do. And worrying about yesterday and arguing about dead people and what dead people did means nothing to me. I don't give a shit what dead people did. So you I'm don't care about American slavery? You don't care about racial segregation? I, I, don't, I don't care that a bunch of dead people did a bunch of dead people things. No. Doesn't care about the Holocaust. Doesn't care about anything. Okay. All right. They're so... all dead. All of them are dead. These are things that dead men did. I didn't do it. You didn't do it. All of them died. They got their justice. They're gone. Who gives a shit about them? Um, I do. Okay. Yeah, I don't. So, so do, I, give I a have shit a question. About people of tomorrow. Yeah, you just you do, you don't care about people that died in the past. That's just such a crazy thing to say. Okay. Yeah, everybody um, so, that ever existed died in the past, guy. Yeah, I care about people who died in the past. Absolutely. Right. You mean so everybody, you, every single James. human to ever exist that died in the past? How am I supposed to care about all of them and every single? I'm not story saying I'm not saying every single person. I'm saying you're right. You, you want to pick the ones that you care about. Oh, absolutely. Like I'm not going to care about Hitler. I'm sorry. Like James, I'm, are you going to care about Hitler? Uh, no. Do you care about the random German citizen that was you know living inside of and, and like Berlin and under you know took that did nothing and undertook fire? Do you talk about them? Yeah. No, of course not. We don't talk about every story of every wait, single wait, person. Wait, wait, wait. I would care. I would care about them. them. But, but talk I think about it's okay the caveman to unjustly the alive them? No. 10,000 BC. Let's talk about that. The caveman in the woods, 10,000 BC. Do you care about that yeah, guy and his, would, his, his hunger? Sorry. Yeah, I know. Let's have a right to advocate, uh, you know, advocacy group for him now. You know, his people are extinct. Well, it They're wouldn't gone. be applicable. There's no such advocacy thing as caveman groups, anymore, but let's talk ad, about Advocacy it. groups, listen, advocacy groups are for things that impact society currently, okay? Because you're advocating for social change in society currently. Marcel, I appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. Whereas just saying you care about it doesn't necessarily imply any action. You're just you're just acknowledging that you care about these things. You have empathy, okay, yes. for the people that died. Everybody, everybody that ever existed died. You know that, right? Every yeah, single person that ever came I'm before you is all dead. For them, I don't know, right? That's crazy that you say no, right? Right? I'll just ask you this question: Can you name I care one about the policy? People that are coming next. James, can you name one policy that Donald Trump influenced to get passed that benefited the middle class? That is Trump tax cuts. I think they did great work. That's hilarious. If you looked at the impact, the distributional analysis, right? Or just, oh, sorry, distributional analysis from the Tax Policy Center and the Joint Committee on Taxation indicated, <laughs> right, that after tax income decreased or fell for the lowest quintile for the middle class and increased for the top quintile, the highest, I mean, the highest quintile, the, the top 1% and the top 0.1%. Okay. So it literally took money from poor people and gave it to rich people. You said it benefited the middle class, but it took money from the middle class. That's crazy. Yeah, I see you say all that stuff, but it's like as a poor person. No, it didn't. You know, you're full of shit. I'm not right. Again, you can look at the just oh, he just got violation warning for hate speech and hateful behaviors. I got a flag too. like that's literally what the tax cut and jobs act did, right? Okay, I don't I don't know. That's a candidate for Congress, by the way, chat. That's that's literally a candidate for Congress. Okay. No lying that that guy's running for Congress. Yo, it's a yo, yo. Yeah, how old are you? I'm 20, man. Yeah, and are you going to vote for Trump in 2024? Um, no, but let me say something, bro. No? No? Fuck James, fuck James, fuck James. <laughs> okay, okay. 
All right, let's go to the next person, everyone. Only send a guest request if you will vote for Trump in 2024, y'all. Yo, it's a Powell to you. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing mighty fine, mighty fine. Are you going to vote for Trump in 2024? Proudly, yes, sir, I am. You are? Yes, um, and you said you're how old again? I'm 50. 50, okay, so why are you going to vote for Trump in 2024? To save this country. From <laughs> people like you. Okay, well, why do you need to save it from people like me? Because obviously you guys don't, I mean, somehow you guys are extremely emotional. You don't actually value what this country stands for. And obviously you guys trying to change it. Uh, you guys keep following what that FDR's theory is saying that we want to change this country fundamentally. You're trying to change this country fundamentally. For people like me who came to this country running away from another country, we know what we have faced, where we came from. We know what this country has provided for us. A person like me coming from nothing, uh, build up a life in this country. This is the greatest country in the world. However, everything you guys are doing right now, the left is doing, trying to dismantle the system in this country. I mean, that is a, I mean, that's an unbelievable, but somehow you don't even see it. This is your future. This is your country. But the one thing you don't understand is that the, your generation is affected by multiple things. Being affected by AI. Can I being ask you a question? Affected by, yes, sir. So there's no room for improvement. What do you mean? Is there any room for improvement? There is, impro I mean, there is a room for improvement, but... Uh, okay, so then, so then you agree with me that we should progress and we should change things. Uh, you should change certain things. Mike, you just conceded. No, no, it's not about this, sir. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm not trying to, I'm not here to convince you. But there are things you don't see. You guys are trying to see things black and white. But there's nothing is black and white. For instance, uh, your generation... I know generation, something black and white. Which is? Black one plus one equals two. One plus one equals two. However, uh, right now what's going on in this country? It's not straightforward. Right now you're talking about illegal immigration. Uh, illegal, illegal immigration affects the lower class of the country. It does not affect the middle class. Can you give me any evidence? But, sir, let's look at the lower income class schools. Whenever you bring illegal immigration, they come with their family. Whose resources are they consuming? They are not consuming your resources. They are consuming, they are competing with the lower income people. But let me actually, let me go back to my But you point. said it like pulls down wages, so can you give me evidence of that? Let me go back to my original point and... Wait, no, Mike, 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 you, you made the point that it pulls down wages and I'm asking for any evidence to substantiate it's that. It's not claim. about only wages, sir. What I'm well, you said that and I'm about, asking for the justification of that point. See, if you lack justification, you going, and, and tell and me. Instead of trying to listen to me and have a conversation, you immediately go for argument. But if you actually listen to people, God gave you two ears, one mouth, so that you can actually listen. And I don't compromise. believe in God, and I did listen to you respectfully. No, you did not. Because I'm trying to make my point. You didn't even give me the chance to make my point. My You're just point lying. I did, give you, I did give you time. Okay, my point, point I literally simple. just asked for evidence for okay. a claim that you okay. made. Okay. Can I just say one thing? That's all I'm going to say. You, you already said plenty of things, and I asked for your evidence. You didn't provide any. I did provide you an evidence. Right now, what was the evidence? Not creating new, okay, you are not creating a new industry. You are not creating a new jobs. However, you are increasing the supply of labor. Am I wrong on that? Well, you're also increasing demand, right? So not no, only would not. you increase the supply of labor, you but you'd also uh, increase demand for goods and services because there's more people coming to the country demanding things. So the country is dying. People are literally, the business is dying in this country right now. The complete lies, right? We have the highest corporate not, profits we've ever seen. Real GDP is increasing. What are you talking about? Hold on. Which, can you please tell me which corporate that has increased, uh, increased the profit? Tell me. Let's yeah. call the top five. Let's call the top five companies. They lost profit last quarter. Uh, lost, no, I'm, I'm talking. Lost, I'm talking. I'm uh, talking uh, for profits for the past few years, right? And I mean, I'd have sorry. to look at their profits okay, for last go, quarter. Uh, I haven't checked the last quarter, but okay, the past few years that, they've been increasing. Okay. They've let's been the highest we've ever last, seen. Let's talk look, about you can look at. I can give you examples. Do you not want examples? Let's talk about the last three quarters. Apple lost money. Google lost money. Amazon lost money. Wait, wait, wait. Where do you see that? Wait, wait, wait. Again, I, I. So if you look at the last three quarters, where do you see that information? Look at the corporate forecast. 
Yeah, yeah. Go again, to the Merrill Lynch web. Go to Merrill Lynch website and look at it. Go pull Think and Swim. Pull okay. the Think and Swim trading website. Think and Swim. Download it and look at the corporate. If you ever trade, commodity has been down. Supply. Yo, has been down. Cred, thank Number you for the the down. chasing the dream. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. In its first quarter, financial uh, results released today. Amazon reported 143 billion in uh, right, revenue, 10.4 billion in profit. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, but how how much the profit have decreased? The profit um, went down. So okay, so for, okay, so yeah, so the previous quarter was 10.6. But yeah. no, okay. So you know how um, to calculate profit margins, sir? Wait, wait. So it went down by 200, but it was already at the highest point. So I do agree with you. In the last one, it went down by 200 billion, but it's – I mean not 200 billion, 200 um, – uh, a million it seems. Okay, now – It went from 10.6 to 10.4. Okay, add inflation. Calculate for the inflation impact. Also calculate Wait, that's for, for one that. quarter. That's for one quarter though. So you are – okay. How do you determine recession? A recession is determined when you have – Wait, did you, did you know last quarter included Christmas? I do. Okay, so then wouldn't that make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. So because profits, you, you wouldn't, you, it wouldn't make sense for profits to go up during Christmas time. Also, calculate inflation, sir. Hey, Mike, I'm just asking you a question. Would it make sense for profits to go up in, uh, in Christmas time? Uh, revenue to go up, but not profit to go up. Profit actually goes down normally in Christmas time, because you know why? Corporate profits go down in Christmas time. Uh, revenue goes up, but corporate uh, profit Re evens out. Really, really. So, can you give sir, me any reason have, to believe that? Sir, I do have Series Seven, Six, and Sixty-Three. I do trade. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you get that? Time. Where'd you get that from? I'd love to see this. Really? You think you are smart, don't you? No, not you very. I just think you're dumb. No, no, you are extremely dumb. You don't even know. Oh, what really? You're give me the reason. Yeah. You, the reason? You are not really looking. You are willing to destroy this country. Just for your benefit of your. I'm not trying to destroy the country. I'm trying to make the country better. You're the one actively trying to undermine people's access to get basic resources in this country, whether it be healthcare, education, right? Mm -hmm. Basic resources that have been acknowledged and adopted in other countries around the world, but you don't want to adopt because you don't want to take anything that could benefit this country from any other one. country around the world. Tell me a country better than this one. One country better than the United States of America. Yeah, I appreciate the galaxy. Thank you so much, DMC. No, I appreciate tell it. Tell me one country better than this country. Switzerland. One. Switzerland. Switzerland is one of the largest capitalist countries. As a matter of fact, tell me how... I'm not, I'm not disputing capitalism. Uh, what's the population of Switzerland versus the United States? It's drastically lesser, right? But I'm just okay. giving you an example. Okay. What's the percentage of military investment versus there? They practically don't have military in Switzerland. Yeah, we, we overspend on the military. Why is that? Uh, it's unreasonably to have military bases around the world that don't give us any actual advantage. Appreciate the gust. Thank you so much. It gives you a, a lot of leverage. That's why. Yeah, I don't think so. Apparently, you don't understand what's going on. You don't understand the world. Yeah, tell you, me you what I don't understand. In... Okay, you don't understand. I would be very. Appreciate, I appreciate I, the boxing gloves. I'll be Thank very you so much. Okay, 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 God, please let me know. You don't understand this country is dying on your policies. The environmental policy is killing this country. Most companies are moving out of this country because of that. Most countries this are not. Way. Most companies are not running out of this country now. That's completely right. false. This is one of the biggest markets. What are you talking about, Mike? This is the biggest market right now. One the of the biggest. biggest consumer, one of the. But the, the US is producing. one of the biggest markets. Yes. For, for for consuming, not for production anymore. No fucking shit, Mike. Production? No, it's not. Let's and I never, I never said specifically for production. I, you were talking about businesses come here to sell goods and services, right? To sell goods, but you, now you become yeah. a consumer state. If, if you're going to talk producing. about production, right? Uh, okay, uh, sure, the U.S. has been a consumer economy, but that, that, this has been for decades, okay? The U.S. has been long? a majority consumer economy for decades, consumer for and service. For the, the past 25 years, you lost more than 16,000 16, manufacturers. Electronics manufacturing left the United Wait, that's States that's due to that's due to one automation and two uh, no, due to uh, due regulation. to conditions due to conditions becoming uh, profitable in other uh, other countries around the world. Why is that regulation? Electronics manufacturing electronics manufacturing left the United States because of regulation. Most electronics. Uh, well, well, not necessarily because of regulation, because I would say that I would say that it relates more to like globalization, right? 
you, okay, the electronics industry, I do know the electronics industry. You can Google my name and find out who I am. But the fact is, when it comes to electronic Probably manufacturing... Probably should have said that. Uh, you, I mean, I'm, I'm out, out of the business. I'm, I'm retired. It doesn't matter. But the fact is, Google it. It doesn't matter. The electronics manufacturers left because of regulations. The reason I know that, uh, the wafer fabs, wafer fabs, because of the certain kind of chemicals, they are very highly regulated the past almost 25 years. That, that is why you don't have wafer fabs being put placed in the United States anymore. Circuit board manufacturers, they led to China. Why? Regulation. And the fact is, some of the regulation don't even make sense. And you don't even see that. The environment, for instance, the Paris Climate Agreement, it's killing this country. No, the reason you know, why they moved me, to other places is because it's more uh, profitable. There's cheaper labor. Why is it cheaper? Right, so unless you want to reduce the minimum wage in this country, right, good luck. Sir, uh, in order to manufacture a circuit, let's talk about wafer fab for this. Okay, the business I was in, I used to make prop cards. It, take, it cost you $3,500 to make prop card in China. It cost you the same amount of money here in the U.S. because it's 90% automated. The labor costs practically nothing. Yeah, if it's automated. Uh, so again, if the labor is, is not automated, is. well, then it would be cheaper to go to other places. So again, this is why I said but that the manufacturing the jobs, not only not, what, not only was I saying that the manufacturing jobs were related to automation, but it's also related to right outsourcing, which again, if you look at Trump's administration, there were more outso outsourcing or under his administration than actually brought back into the country. Okay, so Trump proclaimed he would do so much for American... Mike, you, you complained earlier about me cutting you. Actually. You actually complained earlier so much about me. I don't even know if I even cut you My off. Apology. Right, but yet you've My cut apology. me off almost every single time that I've spoke. My apology. Okay. My apology. By the way, are you driving? Yes, I am. I have to go on to the next person is TikTok TOS, man. I didn't, I didn't even notice that you were driving. Someone in the chat said that you might be, so that's truly unfortunate. Only send a guest request if you will vote for Trump in 2020 debates, y'all. Please only send a guest request if you do disagree, y'all. Let's get this next person up here real quick. All right, let's get this person. Fortunate for us. Yo, what's up, Haldi? Hello? Huh, hello? Hello. Yeah, you're a minor. Get a grip, dude. Yo, what's up, Haldi? 45. And are you going to vote for Trump in 2024? Yes. And why is that? I would like to uh, like start off where you guys left off. Go for it. So you were saying all these things about jobs and economy and everything else, but those are just your opinions. What specifically? About why businesses were going to other countries. Like what specifically about businesses going to other countries? Like, to, like automation was, and uh, and like outsourcing? Well, those aren't the only businesses that are going to other countries. Call centers. Well, I never gave, I didn't name specific businesses. I named the process they engaged in, either outsourcing right, or automation. Okay, but... He was trying to explain to you that the United States has regulations and each state from their governor have different regulations on coding, on all types of different things. Wow, for... you made the most trivial statement I've ever heard, right? Wow, the U.S. has regulations? I never knew that, man. Thank you. Well, that was a good argument. <laughs> Thank if you for you, informing you, me that the U.S. has regulations. regulations. Now, what particular regulation are you referencing? Now, do you know the regulations fuck people trying to open businesses here? That's why they go. Can you can name what regulation specifically? Appreciate the hand. Right? Thank you. Do you think people should have a driver's license? Yeah. Okay, so then that's a regulation. Okay, car. Do you think Parker. people should go to prison Parker. for murder? Why, why do you ask rhetorical questions? These aren't rhetorical questions. They're they don't they're pointless. Okay, well, the reason you're why I'm bringing it... You're trying to prove a point with lame questions. Like you're the master debater. You're not. 
I, you know, so many people come up here and prove you wrong, but you have some slick way of weaseling out of it. Like a, name one time, like a greasy lawyer. Name one time. Every time you talk, name one. You call people off and rebuttal them. Name one. You just did it just now to me. Name, name the one. time specifically. You just did it. Name the time specifically where I was, I was proven wrong. Maybe you uh, are not proven wrong because the person gets kicked or you mute them. I rarely kick people or, and I rarely mute people. Or you shout out to people for cash apping you or whatever. I like, thank people who donate to me. My bad. Thank you. I kill I appreciate the little crown. No, you should do that. But like in the middle of people talking and shit, you know, it's just crazy. But so like I said, if I'm going to let you talk for like for like a minute or long, I'm going to I'm going to say thank you in between. Sure thing. Can we get some baby bottles in the chat for the for the guest? Appreciate the ICU. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, you're the one that needs the baby bottles. You're the youngster, bro. I've been haven't sucked on a titty for years. You sucked on a titty way be way before I did. Okay, way 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 long. How many years ago was it that you was on that? Uh, tonight. Uh, what? Yeah. Baby bottles for you, buddy. Not for me. I'm that's OG. not the baby bottle we're talking about there. My, my child is older than that's you. not. That's not the baby bottle we're talking about there, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Well, that's the baby bottle Thank you so I'm much. talking about. That's what you need, a real baby bottle, because you're a child. You don't know. You act, you talk here and act like you're edu more educated. I'm, I'm, I'm a child? Really? That are older. My David, thank you for the $25 on Cash App. Thank you so much, David. W. David, the, David in the comment section right now. W. David, thank you for the ICU. I appreciate it, Paul, and thank you. I wonder how everybody's going to feel when they donated to all these people that were not correct the whole time. Again, you can't name one thing I was wrong on. <laughs> You're wrong on the economy. You're wrong on being. Wait, wait, what on the economy was I wrong about? Wait, tell me, please. So, let's Lithium, go, thank you for the dollar. Go, Courtney, thank you for the $15 down. in the baby bottle. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Courtney. What's thank going you, on down right now since the economy is doing so great? Can you tell me that? I don't know every store that's closing down. I appreciate the passion, Rose. Thank you. Do you so know much. any of them? Uh, Like, uh, sure i mean i i could like point to like a store or, like where i live that's shutting down or like there are some places that shut down you, you got your computer right next to you right? the, the, the superpower thank you so much no i don't i'm not at my parents i'm not at my apartment i mean you mean you're not at your parents um that's what you were gonna say but anyway we'll just go to the next no i'm i'm not at my apart uh my apartment i appreciate it thank you for the moth thank you so much i'm so, at my parents right now i just got home from a wedding so well, you would think they would have a laptop at your parents, but or a computer. But anyway, yeah, I'd have to go get it, but I don't have it with me. Jamie, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, so Jamie. Since you don't know, Gary, thank you for the hand art. Thank you. Tons of CV. There was twenty five hundred malls, seven hundred malls now. Um, CVS, Foot Locker's closing down. Um, Nordstrom's, Macy's. Um, let's see who else. Who else? Dollar Tree, 99 cent store. All 99 cent stores are closing down. Um, so Joe Biden's build back better. Sounds like it's it's doing Lithium, thank days. you for the dollar. Thank you so much. Courtney, I appreciate that. Again, oh, wait, no, wait, no. This was Maggie. Maddie, thank you so much for the $30 on Venmo. W Maddie in the chat. W Maddie, thank you so much, Maddie. I really appreciate it. So do you know how capitalism works? Obviously, you don't know why all these businesses are closing down, and you're going to try to teach me. On oh, it has nothing to do with the president. Yeah. Uh, why? Why? Can you give me any reason down. it relates to the president of the United States? Can you tell me why it wouldn't? Oh yeah, because the president doesn't control like supply and demand like that. So you, if you don't have a good commander in chief, then all the the air. Okay, what happened with that banking system? The, wait, how old were you when the housing market crash happened in two thousand nine? Um, uh, it was 2007 through 2009. That was the financial crisis. Yeah. So how old were you then? Mm -hmm. Five to like seven. And you're trying to educate me on shit. I can educate you on the financial crisis. I, I lived through it, buddy. Yeah. I study economics, right? Well, so I learned more, more about the financial crisis than you know about it. I promise you. So you would tell, you, you'd tell a Vietnam vet more about war because you learned about I didn't it I didn't learn about the Vietnam war war more than someone who'd be there well that's what you just tried to tell me 
Honestly, Wait, I'm going to know more I'm about like an economic state of affairs than someone right specifically yeah, there. Through. You might be able to tell me more. Listen, you might be able to tell yep. me more about like what the experience was like for you, particularly in that time. Or for as it relates to the overall you. economic conditions, the macro indicators, I'm clearly going to know more about it than you do. Right, that's just true. Okay, so why was the reason of it? Lina, thank you for the $50 on Venmo. Thank you so much, Lina. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's fucking go. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. You remind me of the guy. From yeah, the so it was related life. to the... Hold up. It was related, to, when he gets it was related to the it was related to the mortgage backed securities, particularly they had grades on them that were actually higher than their actually true reflective values because they had like uh like like lists of like ninja loans and stuff like that, which essentially were like not very good loans at all. They were just basically given out to anyone, right? They weren't very likely to get paid back. They were likely to default, right? But they were graded very well. So it was graded very well, but there was a likely default. That's that's kind of like what was the precipice for the financial crisis. What? Nothing happened with the banking systems. Um, I appreciate the confetti. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, that doesn't that, that I think that's the main driver. And obviously, you can relate to things like in the banking system, but well, the banking that, that's crashed too, and nobody got bailed out except the big banks. So it wasn't just well, not not just bank. wait banks it didn't get, just, just get bailed out. Wait, bank. banks did, didn't just get bailed out. It was it was businesses and. There's a lot of bailouts. See what I'm trying to explain, though. Like the automotive industry had to get bailed out. So it went down a chain, a domino effect. Okay, so it started with vehicles because people. So and, and the reason it all happened was because of inflation. So wait, instead, inflation wasn't happening then. Yeah, it was. That's why it happened. So listen. No, you, not true. Was, you're, you're, wait, wait, Team Trump, you're completely wrong. Can I inflation hasn't inflation has everybody. not been an issue can in this country since can I tell you How it affected everybody. Wait, 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 when, what was the inflation level? See, that's the thing. You won't even let me say a story because like I said, you're more educated and knowledgeable about everything. Leah, thank you so much for the $20 on Venmo. Thank you so much, Leah. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So can you tell me what the inflation was? Houses were a great deal. And then, uh, wait, people... no, I'm asking you what the, what the inflation was at that time. Everything. Gas, and what was food, the inflation? Gas, food, interest rates. Same, okay. same so, time. So, do you want me to tell you what the inflation now. rate was at that time? What was that? Do you want me to tell you what the inflation rate was at that time? Man, do you want to know what happened, or do you want to Google search something and try to prove me wrong? Because you didn't. You were five years old when it happened. Okay, but I can look at economic data. My son data. is three years older than you. Hey, dude, I can look at economic but data. That's cool. Kathleen, thank you so much for the twenty dollars on so Venmo. You thank at, you so much, you Kathleen. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Kathleen. National, w uh, Kathleen in the comment section. Thank you so much. So you can look up the average gas price too, and but the average gas price isn't telling you what I pay. Oh wait, yeah, because it's average for the entire US. Exactly. So I don't give a fuck about the average. It's not telling you what I pay. Oh, okay, wait, but that's just I, I mean that's relative to your particular area. For Supreme. Wait, that's You're just relative LA, to your right? particular area. I live in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. So you know all about it. Dog. I pay. So I pay. Like it's like it's like five dollars a gallon right now. In so, you, at what gas station? AM, I'm not going to tell you the gas stations. AM, PM. Because I go to Chevron or Shell, bro. I don't care where you go, right? I, I live in LA, it, right? That's it, that's where it, that's what costs near me. Courtney, I appreciate the fifteen dollars. Thank you so you much. I appreciate it. Thank headband, you, Courtney. W. Courtney in the comment LA, section. Thank you so much, Courtney. What? Can we get some baby bottles in the chat? Yeah, because he needs the baby bottle because he's in the hood paying five bucks a gallon in L.A. Anybody in L.A. knows that you don't get gas at five bucks a gallon unless you're in the hood. Because if you're in Beverly Hills, you're not paying five bucks a gallon. If you're in fucking. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what do you mean by that? Wait, 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 wait. wait. LA, what do you mean by that? Five bucks a gallon. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I just told you, bro. Where where in L.A. are you? Right. Because I literally I'm not trolling. Like I'm, I'm in, in I'm in Carmichael, California, right next to Ansel Hoffman Golf Course. Okay, you didn't need to tell me the particular like but like sure i dude. didn't give you my address but I okay don't okay i'm just saying i'm not scared about shit okay okay but like if you, you go all around la right you're gonna see around five dollars right five thirty maybe so Junior, the, i appreciate so, the subscription so, thank you so, so much I just, i'm telling you literally five dollars is so what i paid more like, like two or LA. three days ago dude so carmichael's more expensive than la what's up so you're telling me carmichael california is more expensive than la uh it could be Mooney, I appreciate the galaxy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Because it was five ninety nine yesterday. Okay, well then you must have gotten ripped the fuck off wherever you went. Chevron right down the street. That a lot. Yeah, of you got fucked, through. bro. The shells the same price down the street. You got you got fucked. 
that's that's what the gas stations are selling it for. Wait, yeah, are you talking about premium? Yeah. I, I don't get the premium one. Well, I got a BMW. Europeans take fucking rich shit. Okay, I don't give a shit. That's so your that's issue. So that's why I'm paying six bucks a gallon. I didn't get fucked. Oh, okay. Cry. Oh my gosh, bro. I appreciate the the, the confetti. Thank so you so anyway, much. Like, why are you? Why are you? Why are you complaining to me about this? Then I appreciate the handout. Thank you so much. That's a you problem. Maze, thank you for the galaxy. Thank you so much, Maze. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, okay, Maze. So. Thank you for the second galaxy. Thank you very much. Let's go. Three. Ooh. Maze, thank you for the third fucking galaxy. Let's go. Let's go, Maze. You there, bro? Yo, Minotaur, thank you so much. I appreciate the galaxy. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got a phone call. I got to text somebody just real quick. Give me two minutes because I, I want to talk to you just a couple more minutes. And then I understand you're on your side. I'm on my side. Appreciate Henry. Thank you so much. Oh, you want to run away in two minutes? No, I just wanted to send a text real quick. Okay, well, you can send a text, but you got a lot more than two minutes. Well, I just send 10 seconds. I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, no, I meant like I meant like you can send the text, but when you come back, it's going to be a lot more than two minutes. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Us talking. Okay. Hurry up. Send your fucking text. In the meantime, everyone, tap that fucking screen. One, 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 one. Look at that. Ooh. Tap that screen. Let's run it up to 250,000 likes. Share the live as well. Everyone, comment in the comment section. Help send it out to more people. If you want to support me, as always, Venmo Cash App in the bio, everyone. I do appreciate everyone doing so. If you can't find it on Venmo and Cash App, you can always go to the link tree in my bio. Scroll to the bottom of the link tree. You can see Venmo and Cash App. You can click on it. You get the QR code, or you can just get sent to the link directly. All right, but I'm happy to be back today, everyone. I'm back in LA. Uh, yesterday, I was out, out at a wedding. I felt really weird not going live, everyone. I do apologize. It was really weird. But yeah, I know. Um, in Texas, it, like, it was like it was $3 a gallon, right, for, for gas. It was crazy, bro. $3. It was crazy. I was, like, I was like, dude, whoa, bro. Almost $2 less than what I pay, bro. <laughs> and that's a gallon, bro. That's crazy, bro. Thank you for the sunglasses. Thank you so much. That's a lot for Texas. Well, I was in Austin, so uh, like, I mean, granted, that makes sense. I was downtown Austin. All right, I'm back. Yeah, what's good? Thank you for uh, that hospitality, the my water, Thank you for the dollar. And then they, the David, thank you for the, the travel. Thank you so much. Hey, man, you be killing it on here. I do know that, though, you know, and that's dope. You know, you get a lot of love on here. So... The water, wow. thank you for the dollar. Uh, May the 4th debate, oh, we didn't end up doing that today. The person didn't show up. See, the thing is, Parker, just so you know, it's sad to see, but most of the time when I come into lives of people that don't support Trump, right, and people that do, for some reason, everybody's got to be so uh, mean. I don't understand it. I feel like instead of just trying to educate each other so that way people are more smarter, it's got to be a pissing contest. You know more than I do, and I'm not smart because I'm voting for Trump, and there's no way in hell I can know anything at all. Well, you did say more smarter. Frankie, I appreciate the $5.55. Cents. Thank you so much. I talk to people. I, I, I mean, if they I'm can good, give me bro. claims so that are smart. My slang. Wait, hold up, hold up, dude. Hold up, hold up. Real hold quick. Up. I have two languages. I speak two languages just so you, we can get that clear, okay? So you can go ahead and roast me all you want, but one of them is called English, and one is called Ebonics. Okay, just so you know that. Sure, I I actually I never heard. I don't know what that is. To be totally it, honest, it, it, it's called hood. Okay, street street talk. Okay? Uh, okay, so you can look up ebonics. There's a dictionary on it. E40 wrote it, and uh, yeah. See, I just educated you on something that you had no knowledge about, and we can do that. And I don't. There was no reason to. There was no reason to laugh at you. Yeah, you can look at me all you want. I'm in my garage smoking a cigarette. Oh, you can't do that on live. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry. You're good. That, 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 that's all we needed. I mean, you can go to my videos, bro. I post videos. I, I post content. I try to educate people. But but a lot of people don't want to be educated because they already know what's going on. They could Google search it. Wait, so my, like my here, if, if you could give me like an intelligent claim, right, I'm going to learn from it. Like I'm going to be able to acknowledge that. Hey, there are people that can come on and can talk to me as it relates to particular topics that will know more than me, right? That happens. There are certain scenarios where it does, right? Yeah, um, it doesn't seem like Like originally awesome. my friend Danny, right, came on as opposition, right? Danny's way smarter than me. It's not even fucking close, okay? Right, my friend Danny. But he originally came on as opposition, right? So I, I've taken time to learn from him, right, when he was originally opposition, right? And so same thing happens with other types of guests as well.
So what did he, what's like one thing he, he popped into your brain? Oh, well, I mean, I've learned a lot of the theism arguments from Danny, right? I've, I've learned a lot of critiques to different positions on abortion from Danny. Uh, so many things. Interesting. Okay. So have you heard of a, a we talked about podcast hosts before because you said you were going to go on that one show and you didn't get to go on it. That's so yeah, cool. they, they ran away the day of that's too bad. Yeah. Dean sure. lost like 500 bucks. Oh yeah, it happens. Um, cause people make bets, you know, cause people are gamblers. Oh no, it wasn't a gamble. It was, uh, he had to fly here and then they canceled day of and didn't try to rebook it. Okay. Okay. So have you heard of a, a, a gentleman that was a Navy seal? He was, uh, I believe in seal team two and C and another seal team. Okay. And did you just he, hop in the bathtub? No, I was just rinsing something off real quick. I'm making. Oh, my sorry, I wasn't sure. I'm making my grandmother dinner, man. So anyway, um, Sean Ryan has a podcast. He's on TikTok. He's on YouTube. He's on all types of different things. He was demonetized on YouTube for all the people that he has on his podcast, and he has ex-military. He has people from SEAL Team Six. He has people that were in Afghanistan when they did the withdrawal. And did you know I'm demonetized too? Why is that? I don't make any money off of monetization on, on live for, for views. Nothing. Yeah. Normally on live, you, you don't make anything for views. Yeah. It's de demonetization. I mean, I make, you make, you can make money on your content, on your videos, on your, uh, they, they constantly take it down for everything. I got an originality violation on like most of my videos. Well, are they original? Yeah, yeah, you can literally watch them. They're just edited by someone. It, it might be like they have like one meme that's like two seconds long, but that's within copyright. Pretty sure that Coral think he's much. They just have terrible over moderation on TikTok, so that you get original originality violations for nothing. I mean, both of my pages are in the beta program, and I make money on both of my pages. Well, it, the different types of content can have different types of outcomes. Yeah, I well, get originality out, uh, police or I speak, I speak all that shit. I put me for 30 to 45 seconds in the front and then let a nice little uh, either podcast run or news clip run or whatever. And then I end it or or whatever. So you literally don't even do your own content and you don't get originality violations. I literally have my own content on my page and I get originality violations. That's the that's the issue. You see, you see how I have differential treatment. Yeah, I understand. That, dude. What do you be talking about? Uh, literally just the things in my videos like you can watch one of my videos right the debate videos that i posted recently they've been all originality violated like almost every single one interesting i'll check them out mm -hmm. but yeah because um okay so sean ryan anyway long story short he's had plenty of people on his podcast right and you can actually learn a lot right from the horse's mouth so the craziest thing is everything you can google search doesn't match up with what at least three or four different podcasts of people that got interviewed that said so in my opinion and you can have your own opinion but common knowledge tells you do you believe the google search or do you believe what came out of the horse's mouth i believe what the evidence indicates right like like for example are you christian no so that's not that's not no, you're not that. so that's there's something relevant here Parker, Parker. so if it, are do you believe can the claims that jesus that? is god can we not turn it to that please i mean i'm just i'm just trying to because show you, you that you don't much, believe a claim just because it's sad a, you can have a much better example yeah i'll give you a different one because okay, that's way far-fetched and we could go deep down okay, you, well you're just being a baby so right i'll give you a different one no right? what people claim that trump is wait that's just not a good example. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you that one gentleman that went on a podcast that said all these things that your Google searches don't agree with, you believe the Google search over the gentleman that went through the situation. Okay, do you believe that uh, E. Jean Carroll was sexually abused, right, by Donald Trump? Because she said it, I'm supposed to believe it? Okay, so that's so you you want the same thing to happen with these people. Every situation, you know, every situation is different, right? You could go beat your head in the with that mic again for me, real quick. 
you conceded and didn't realize. Because you know that every situation isn't the same, right? He, so you conceded and didn't realize. Eugene so, so, Taylor, so, are you, so are you going to believe it from the ho- from the horse's mouth, or are so you going to uh, believe Taylor, your little Google search from Trump? Oh, I believe when she said that grape was sexy. No, she didn't say it to her. She said society views it that way, and it shouldn't be viewed that way. No, she never. Yeah, of said course, that. you're going to misrepresent that. Yeah, that's pull, what, that's pull, what the interview said. I'll pull Look up at the interview, scene. right? Pull, you can literally. I'll pull up the CNN clip right we'll now. The, buddy. Yeah, we can pull up the fucking clip. Do it, please. I'll pull it please up. Please play right the now. clip, dude, bro. You really want to hear it? Yeah, play the clip. And then she even says that the guy's interesting. She hits on him, and he cuts it real quick because play he the clip. Was gonna say something. Hey, 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 play the clip. Sure. What are you gonna say after you hear it? Well, I'm 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 gonna show you that I was right. One uh, and two. While we wait for you to find it, right? I got some. Oh, I got find it. It's right here. I got it. So so Trump, right? He said that he wouldn't have sexually abused Eugene Carroll because she, she's quote unquote not his type. But then in a deposition, mistook Eugene Carroll, the person who was proven to have sexually abused, with yeah, his ex wife. Go ahead and pull up another point. Hey, did you hear what I just said? Yeah, I did. What I just said. You just said that Trump said that she wasn't his type, but then it misquoted uh, her for his wife. No, mistook her right, mistook for, her for, for his yeah, wife. Yeah, you, so brother, she looks similar enough to his ex-wife that I it is the case that he's going to mis- – She looks similar enough to his ex-wife that he's going to mistake the two, but she's still, quote, unquote, not his type? Yeah, I thought I, I, thought I didn't so, so his ex-wife that. is not his type then, yet yeah, he still got with her. I thought so he so whether or not it's his type, quote unquote, doesn't change whether or not he would have, quote unquote, got with her, right? Okay. And in this sense, abused her. It doesn't matter what she says, though, right? Sorry, right, I didn't matter. hear you just said it cut out. It, it doesn't matter that she what she says. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, I'm not saying it doesn't matter. I'm just saying that, like, we probably wouldn't say that that's the only thing taken into account. We have other evidence to indicate this. We have multiple, right, friends of Eugene Carroll at that time. We have, there was literally DNA, human DNA on a dress, right, that Trump could have exonerated well, himself, look, if they right, if he, believe, if he, if he, if he Trump believes he's not guilty. guilty law, hey, dude, can you just be quiet, man? If he claims, if he claims to be not guilty, if he is so not guilty, why wasn't he, on the very first day that he could submit the DNA, submitting his DNA to exonerate himself? Yeah, because he's guilty. So you believe he's guilty? One, two. I don't believe. Right? You're not playing the fucking video. I never, because I'm still looking for it. Taking a minute, isn't it? Yeah, I thought I had it on my page, but I don't. Hmm. Let me hang on. Hmm. Oh. Is Matt here, by the way, everyone? Yeah, thank you for the handout. Thank you so much. He, he, I'm pretty sure he has the clip. He can play it. Yeah, if it's the full one. <laughs> yeah, it is the full one. I appreciate it. appreciate everyone. Tap that screen. Let's run it up to 250,000 likes. Share the live, everyone. Uh, if you want to support me, as always, Venmo Cash App in the bio. Venmo Cash App in the bio. So like I said, I'd rather pull up Sean Ryan. I'm just asking you to give me that, that clip where she yeah. said that. That's who I was talking about. But then you want to rebuttal with some bullshit because you're a great arguer. And every situation. At least you admit that I'm a good arguer. And, and uh, every, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm a great arguer. No, I but think you but like, be, maybe I think to you. You will be a good lawyer. And then you would fight for anybody as good as you could because you're great at just making up a bunch of horse shit. <laughs> none, of, none of what I've said is horse shit. Okay. Yes. You literally are following someone who is a literally right denying the election with no sufficient evidence okay, okay? cool you're there's following sufficient evidence indicating that he that lost there are court judges appointed by him you? indicating that he lost yet you still fucking believe his lies okay, okay well, he's manipulating you right in front of you right and you're literally saying it's me get a fucking grip dude okay, the only well, one trying to control you is okay, well, literally the annoying orange bro okay what about joe biden what about his daughter's diary what about his son uh, so like the the diary, like she came out and said that this was not abuse, right? That this was mistaken by plenty of people. Okay. Yeah, no, she she literally came out and explained that. Uh, Michael, I appreciate the twenty dollars on Venmo. Thank you so much. I appreciate. It. Thank you so much. And are you gonna play the clip or or do or? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have it. Matt, 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 Matt could join here in a few minutes. He can play the clip if you can't do it. 
Well, if he joins in a few minutes and plays it before I do, then he does. Oh, okay. Well, it's probably going to happen because you can't find it for some fucking reason. Well, we'll see. All right. Give it a second, everyone. Tap that screen. And also in the comment section, spam, where's the clip? Where's that fucking clip? Oh, man. I want to hear that clip. I want to hear it right now. Yeah, I get it. Oh wait. Do 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 PG&E is now the most expensive electricity provider in the state, and well, well, you have an ad, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have Matt play it. Thank you so much for the cap, I appreciate. It. Thank you so much, Matt. Yeah, here you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Hold up, hey, hey, hey. Already got it. Hey, Matt's She's gonna play. Not my type. That is what the president of the United States has just said about the woman who right. says he sexually assaulted her. She's not my type. Which is what one says when a friend tries to fix you up. Not my type. It's not what anyone really says when accused of what amounts to rape. Not my type. That is precisely what President Trump just said, and not for the first time either. She's not my type. He just said this about his 15th and latest accuser. And we begin tonight with her account of the alleged sexual assault that she says she endured at his hands. And that alone should be compelling enough. Miss Universe, one of the most beautiful women in the solar system, and he called her fat. I'm not going to make you watch it all. Matt has a specific clip. Can you let Matt play it? Hey, hey, can you just pause it and let Matt play it? I mentioned his name once in the book. Once. So Matt has the specific clip. Hey, hey, I can just mute you if you don't let Matt do it because he literally has it. This is not an edited clip. Just let it go. He doesn't have an edited clip. And we'll get I'll right to the end because it was right before she cut off. Now. It was yeah, right before I'll... she cut off. Boom. Starstruck. Thank you for the eight month subscription. Thank you so much. In Lilac Gray. Okay, he's, he's still playing it, so I don't know if you want me to play. Okay, here we go. I muted him. You don't feel like a victim. I was not thrown on the ground and ravished. Which the word rape carries so many sexual connotations. This was not. This was not sexual. It just, it, it hurt. It just, what, it just, you know. But I think most people think of rape as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not. I think sexual. most people think of rape as being sexy. Mm. Let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. Mm. We're just going to take a short well, break. It sounds like she thinks it's sexy and think of the fantasies that she what? thinks no. about. What? No. No, she said most people. How did you get that? She, wait, she didn't say most people. Rewind it. Wait, wait she, yes, did, she did. Wait, do you want to bet? Do you want to bet? Put money on it. Put money on it. Yes, she did. 500 bucks right now. Rewind it. 500 bucks right now. Guess what? I'm not betting, but rewind it. Bet me. I'll Just play it if you bet. 100 bucks. <laughs> if, I'm, if, I, if I'm right, you're paying me. If I'm right, you're yeah. paying me. Just rewind it. If I'm right, I you're paying happen. me, right? <laughs> sure. You All sure? Right. Okay, he, he took it. Bad. Yo, okay. Catherine, Ooh, thank you for the hundred dollars on Cash App. Thank you so Bro, much, Catherine. Bad. W fucking Catherine in the chat right fucking yeah. now. Spam W Catherine, everyone. All right, here we go. Are you go. ready? You All right, here we go. Pay me. You don't feel like a victim. I was not thrown on the ground and ravished. Which the word rape carries so many sexual connotations. This was not. This was not sexual. It just, it, it hurt. It just, what, it just, you know. Well, I think most people think of rape as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not. I think most sexual. people think of rape as being sexy. Mm -hmm. Most people, looks like you owe me a hundred dollars. hundred dollars in the chat, everyone. Pay up, let's fucking go. Yeah. DMC, thank you so much for the confession. Okay, so why didn't you play it to the end? That's fine. Most people, you got. Wait, me. I did the first time. I played it the whole no, way. Real, no, you didn't. Yes, you I didn't, did. You didn't yes, play, I did. You, yes, no, I did. No, let me finish, big boy. I played the whole way through. Let me no, finish, you did not just boy. do that, bro. What the fuck? What the okay, fuck is I, wrong with you? You're just like Trump. You're literally so, just like Trump. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you're a terrible fucking person for that. So guess what? You didn't play it then until he rolled his eyes and said he and he cut the clip and then said that's you know you know what I'm gonna do here, buddy. You're gonna pay me the hundred bucks or you're not gonna speak, okay, bud? So I'm waiting Venmo cash what? up in the fucking I'll do bio. It a second time here, second and we'll play time. it a second time. So Venmo cash up in the bio. You're gonna get muted until you until you pay. Ready? Here we go. 
let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. Mm-hmm. We're just going to take a, sh- a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk more on the other side. You're fascinating to talk to. <laughs> I played it to the whole end, by the way. Like, this is the second time. You, you gotta pay up, bud. No, pay up. Play. Hey, bud, pay up. Pay up, bud. Bud, we're gonna need you to pay up. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm waiting. Venmo Cash App in the bio. Venmo Cash App in the fucking bio, dude. It's in the bio. You didn't play the video. It's in the bio. Hey, hey, dude. You can they find it. You just you click on my profile picture, right? And you should see Venmo and Cash App in that bio right and, and and when you see that right you should take yourself over to venmo or cash up your preferred method of payment right and you should hit that hundred dollars right in there and send it to me right now Woo! okay right now that's what you're supposed to do that is that is that is your job right now to do this i'm waiting i'm currently waiting you're you're muted until that happens i'll give you one thing to say don't be a little pussy Oh, wait, there it goes again. Another insult. So we're going to wait one more time for the Trump supporter to send the $100 after he claimed that he would. What a great Christian shot. You know, he's lying. He's lying. What a great Christian. What a man that stands up for God. You know what I mean? What a, what a, what a, what a perfect man. Acting like a pussy. Oh, and I'm waiting for the $100. He says the one who's not paying me the $100. Pay the 100 bucks. Listen to the end of the video, fucker. Pay the hundred. We did pay the hundred bucks, yes. buddy. Hey, bu- hundred bucks. Hundred bucks right here. Hundred bucks right there. Pay it up right now, buddy. At the time, the is pouring through me, all I want. Oh, look at it! The mute button hit it itself again. I don't know what happened there. Holy shit! It seems like he owes me a Venmo and a Cash App in the bio. The end, fucker. Hey, hey, Venmo Cash App in the bio, buddy. I don't know why you're so angry. Can we get some baby bottles in the chat for the guest? Baby bottles in the chat, please, boy, for the man child. Hey, for the man child on aisle one, we need some baby bottles and some cleaners. Boy, He's shit right in the aisle. He's it's right in the aisle. We need some cleaners right now. Please send them right now. We need help. We need help. We need some baby bottles and cleaning Almost solutions. Finished. Stat, stat, stat. And down the. And this is not. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm waiting, dude. Can, can you pay, bro? Understand? Can you pay, bro? On aisle one. Assault or harassment. On aisle one, we need some diapers. We need some diapers on aisle one. Okay, dude, I'm actually serious. I don't want to have to do this forever. I'm gonna give you like three more times, and this is only because you bro, were extraordinarily I'm not rude. Pay you? Yes. I didn't oh, even you're not gonna pay me? On that gay shit. Oh, okay. So he's just gonna, yeah. So you know what's gonna happen? Gay shit. <laughs> yeah. What? Like what? You can't say that again, uh, Matt. Because uh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 No, you're good. Don't worry. I, I appreciate you though, man. That guy was fucking insufferable, yeah. <laughs> dude. All right, bye, dude. Have a good one. Appreciate you, man. All right, let's go on. Go to the next person, everyone. You can't say the gay word. Yeah, TikTok just like bans that for no reason. It's actually ridiculous. Like I don't know why they do that. Yo, what's up? Can you hear me? Me? Yeah. How old are you? Oh, I'm 21. And are you going to vote for Trump in 2024? I'm undecided. So and here's why. Vote for Trump? Out. I'm not, but I, here's why. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going go so, to go to someone who is going to vote for Trump. Appreciate you coming up, though. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Let's go on to the next person, everyone. Real quick, real quick. If you want to support me, Venmo Cash App in the bio. I appreciate everyone who has been so far. W fucking Catherine again. W Catherine. Catherine is going fucking crazy. All right. Let's get the next person. All right, let's get this next individual up here. Did he send the hundo? No, he did not. Hello. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello. Yeah, are you going to vote for Trump in 2024? Yes, I am. And why is that? I'm voting for Trump because of uh, a lot of the things that are happening with African Americans in this country. And I'm an African American, and I can only speak from it from an African American standpoint. One of the reasons why I'm not voting for Biden is because he has a terrible record in terms of civil rights, in terms of all the things uh, that he said against people like Angela Davis, uh, Huey Newton, comments against Dr. King. And then he flip flopped and morphed into what it is that we see today. And a lot of people have forgotten about that. But now it's all coming back to the forefront in terms of this whole narrative that he's doing. And I just feel that from, you know, two reasons why uh, I think Trump is going to definitely beat him. Number one, Can I no respond one to that first thing first? Yeah. 
Say it again now. Can I respond to that first thing first? Michael. Oh, I said, can I respond to that first thing? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, like, as it relates to this, um, what about Trump's history? Because I would say that they both have a racist history, right? Trump, right? Housing discrimination lawsuit. Discrimination. Absolutely not. Let me tell you why. Because do you, Donald Trump, do you hear back me? when... Okay, so, so there were housing discrimination lawsuits, particularly because they would tell black families that there are not open places for them to rent in, right? Or open, open apartments. But there were actually ones. They would tell white families right after that there were openings. Well, let me just chime in here and, and help you a little bit historically with black people. Number one, when other establishments in Vegas and in other, you know, uh, entertainment venues all over the United States, uh, blacks were not allowed to perform or they were discriminate, discriminated heavily. People like Sammy Davis Jr., Jackie Wilson, James Brown and others. When Donald Trump opened up the Trump, uh, hit Tr Trump Plaza in, uh, you know, his casino, he had a plethora of blacks that went through there and paid them enormous sums of money. You can check out everything I'm saying. Lola Falana, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, the tap dancer, uh, uh, Sammy Davis Jr., uh, James Brown. All I don't, of I don't, I don't see how that doesn't mean he's racist. Like, for example, no, right? it doesn't. It means he's racist because all the other white establishments would not even allow blacks to perform in their facility. Wait, wait so I have a question. Were, were the people who adopted Jackie Robinson on the Dodgers, were they not racist? Uh, yes, they were. So they, they clearly were racist, even though they were the first ones to adopt. No, right. they weren't. Well, not all of them were racist, if you know your history, especially Ricky, who was the owner of the team. He was not racist. He just wanted he just wanted the desire to have the best players, period. And he saw Jackie Robinson as the best player at that time. And he just didn't give a damn. And he crossed the line. And I'm not saying that all whites are racist. But I don't, that I don't time, think that necessarily means he's not racist, one. And two, if we look at this well, as well, why do there you were say plenty that? of From your perspective, it's easy for you to say that as a young white man. But if you're a black man, it, you don't see it that way at all. I don't see how you can even dare to say something like that if you don't know what was going on in the country at that time when Jackie Robinson came up. That was in my grandfather's era. You know, I grew up when I was a kid, Jackie Robinson was coming up. And uh, you, you're, I don't think that you are you don't understand the historical aspect of Biden. If you go back all the way, Wait, we're making two different claims here. I want to I want to okay. address that. But like go ahead, there, go ahead. there are plenty there are plenty of, uh, of of black people in the comment section that would agree with me. That's not relevant. The point that's relevant in demonstrating this is what actions. Eh, lima gre enam putih bisa menyala tidak bisa bagian bawahnya sama orange coklat bisa menyala tidak bisa banyak full pantilan asli pantil licin dan bersih dan juga sudah di, sudah dikasih sama logo Aiko yang ini etalase lima yang ini etalase enam di bagian dalamnya ini juga